I woke up early in the morning, never brushed my teeth, never took a bath, and never eaten that much. I saw NXT take over War Games. And it was fucking awesome! Guys, uh, welcome back to Wrestling D Rojo, and this is the NXT Takeover 2018 review and results. It was fucking awesome, better than last year's War Games. Um, Survivor Series. Uh, uh, again, I may not watch, may not watch it, I may watch it, but if I watch Survivor Series, there will be a video. If I don't watch, if there's no video about Survivor Series, uh think yourself i'm didn't watch the event so enough survive series so let's go nxt freaking war games 2018 the beginning of the show i didn't watch the pre-show just watch the beginning mad riddle mad riddle made his debut on the show and he i don't know about mad riddle's stick uh, he calls bro every everyone and last time i saw mad riddle match i think it was Last year, on I saw it on some clip on YouTube. His toe, f his toe fing, his toe, his fingers, uh, got broken by freaking Marty Skrull. Like he broke it. And after that, I'm seeing him right now. And the guy has potential. Has potential. And he took up. He took on Cassius freaking Ono, the knockout artist. And this match is, is this match is fucking short, man. It's only like uh, six or f six or seven seconds, I think. The bell rung. Amaro did that fucking V trigger like knee to Chaos face, and yeah, that's done. <laughs> done, and I was so disappointed. And because I love Cassius Ono, Cassius Ono is my bro. Uh, that's the first match on the card. We had a squash match. So let's on the next one women's NXT women's championship in a two out of three falls match against Shayna Baszler and Kyrie Sane. And yeah, it's a I think they're a Mayan classic match. It's my opinion. The Mayan classic match and their um, I think NXT Brooklyn, I think, when Kyrie Singh won the title, that match was my favorite. The last, the uh, the match at Evolution and this um, is a hit or miss for me. But it's a solid good match though. But not better than the other one, the other previous, previous two. And yeah, the first fall uh, went to Shayna. He made Kyrie tap out. The second one, Kyrie made... Uh, made a pin and won the second fall and the third one the third one was interesting uh i think after the after the second fall carson had like three spears shout out the roman reigns two of our host women interfered tried to interfere i think regal said no interference but uh that that went on to the window oh shirai I thought I think I saw it in the this year's Mayan Classic. Hoshi, I think is uh, Kyrie Sane's best buddy. I think yeah, she tried to help uh, doing a freaking moonsault. That moonsault was so dope though. He did she did a moonsault outside to her Shayna Baszler's Goonies. The other the four horse. Oh my God, I'm mumbling. Her four horsewoman. Kyrie Sane goes for the elbow drop, but Shayna like catches and folds her, and Shayna wins the match by pinfall. So Shayna is still the NXT Women's Champion. Okay, it was a really solid uh, two out of three falls match. Uh, yeah, as I said before, it's not better than their previous uh, previous matches. That those matches were freaking great. So let's go. To the next one okay on to the next match this is the part where the show gets even higher like like an escalator go higher alistair black versus johnny fucking grogano and oh my god this was my match of the night until another match beat it 
and we can talk about that later. Now we're gonna talk about Alistair Black versus Johnny Gargano. The story for this match: Johnny Gargano was the mysterious attacker. He attacked Alistair Black from behind, like in the summer, in the middle of the summer, because uh, it w- at NXT Brooklyn Four, it's supposed to be a triple threat match between Tommaso Ciampa, the NXT champion, Johnny Gargano, and Alistair Black. Even before the match card, even the match confirmed, even before Alex Black was the NXT champion, you all know about that. And Tommaso Ciampa, Ciampa, Tommaso Ciampa defeated Alex Black in an interference of Johnny Gargano by accident. And Alex Black lost the belt. He was supposed to f- be in the triple tier match, but someone attacked him. And the Johnny Gargano was just... The triple threat match turned into a singles match, but a last man standing match. Even though Tomas Champa won that match, John Gargano lost. And months after, during Regal's investigation, so called investigation, Nikki Cross uh, f- found it who attacked Alistair Black. And Alistair Black was pissed and he was searching for the guy who attacked. And suddenly, Johnny Gargano super kicks Alistair Black's Alistair Black in the ring, and we found out Johnny Gargano was the masked attacker all along. And by the things of it, yeah, it makes sense. But why have to? Why you have to make Johnny Gargano heal, bro? Yeah, I was so, I was so depressed because that's like he's like a, a heal. He's like a Daniel Bryan in NXT. Even though Dan Bryan turned heel too, that was so freaking similar, man. Johnny Gargano turned heel, and and who who has turned heel? Yeah, I think Nia Jax, and who cares about Nia Jax? And Dan Bryan turned heel too. Yeah, that's another story. I'm I'm gonna talk about it right now. Johnny Gargano is the heel going into this match, and Alistair Black. Fun fact: Alistair, Alistair Black didn't l- didn't lose any. Oh my god. As I said before, Alistair Black didn't lose any takeover matches since his debut. Yeah, yeah, I got got the notes right. Yeah, right here. Okay, his first uh uh his first NXT takeover was uh, NXT Takeover Orlando. Yeah, NXT Takeover Orlando, I think it was last year, yeah. Until then, until right now, he's seven and zero, oh. seven and zero, oh. uh, seven and zero, oh, being the second guy who had most wins in a takeover, never lost in a takeover. The first one is Asuka. Yes, you know Asuka. Remember those days? Asuka was uh, the strongest female. Now she's a joke. Yeah, fuck you, WWE. You ruined her. And yeah, Asuka is number one with ten wins. No losses in a takeover event. Her her first takeover was NXT Takeover Respect against Dana Brooke. Yeah. So at Alistair Black, he has seven wins. He need four more to surpass Has Asuka's uh, takeover streak. Yes, as I'm saying, seven right now. Alistair Black won the match. So let's talk about the pace of this match. Yo, it was. St- Stiff as hell. I thought I was watching a strong style match. Uh, they were giving kicks like one thing. One time Johnny Gargano do a suicide dive, and Alistair did did this V trigger. I, I mentioned V trigger. That's that's the name I know. He did this V trigger on side of I think side of his neck. Oh my god, that looked brutal. And couple of kicks here and there. And a little bit of cat and mouse game between Johnny Gargano, Johnny Gargano and Alistair Black. I was saying Tomas Champa, almost said Tomas Champa, and uh, Alistair Black. And over, overall, uh, Johnny Gargano was being the best bad guy. He, he did, he did, he did his best, but oh, I, I can't see him as the bad guy. I, I need, I need more time. To freshen up the bad guy Johnny Gargano thing, but overall he did his best being a bad guy. He even begged, he even kissed. Uh, I think he kissed, almost kissed uh, Alistair Black's feet. I think foot. Who cares? And uh, foot. 
almost kissed but in the end black mass and the second black mass and it's over as black won the match okay overall very great awesome singles match between Alistair Black and Johnny Gargano um, my minor my bug about this as I mentioned before Johnny Gargano being being a bad guy and uh, that's a nitpick uh, and the second one this match need more minutes that's that's the only money because this match was kicking up the kicking up the high gear when high speed need needs more like he needed more like 15 minutes yeah i think the match was like 12 or 13 i think i need he needed more 15 minutes time and yeah overall good match uh yeah alistair black is seven and oh hope uh, <clears throat> hope he beats uh he beats oscar's streak and four more wins guys four more takeovers and four more takeover wins will he will surpass Oscar's streak so yeah hmm. let's go to as i mentioned before my match of the night okay guys noted i have changed the room again i'm back to this old room yeah the people in this house oh my god they're pissing me off so bad so i have to change the room my match of the night tomasa champa versus velveteen dream the velveteen dream you know last year in war games my favorite match my favorite match was Alistair Black versus Velveteen Dream even though Alistair Black was great in that match but the MVP of that match was Velveteen Dream and in this match again the MVP is Velveteen Dream even though Tommaso Ciampa played the best heel he can be possible but the charisma the star power of velveteen dream yeah he's a star in the making and he's quickly becoming the star that everybody like and he um he even <laughs> reintroduced the hollywood hulk hogan attire the black and white the nwo style man and he even did this the hulk hogan pose and he even ripped the shirt and he's even said for life oh my god velveteen dream man he's a star in a few years he's gonna be he's gonna be insane stupid amount of level of greatness awaits him for him in the future but the bad thing is he lost this match yo the i swear man the crowd would have been blown up of happiness when velvet if velveteen dream won the match but the heel hold on as tomasa champa won i think he needs a long reign before he lost loses the title to might be johnny gargano might be alistair Black, or even velveteen dream but why not right now uh second year in a row velveteen dream lost even though he lost he may lost the match but he won the night yo yo i have to i have to mention he did a fucking leg drop he was hulking up and he punched him like hulk hogan and gave him a big boot like hulk hogan and he gave him a multiple leg drops like hulk fucking hogan and i don't know why velveteen dream loves this <laughs> loves hulk hogan so much and he imitated so well and the crowd loved him man the crowd really fucking loves velveteen dream tomas champa won the match um but velveteen dream he's one of a kind and yeah my match of the night so let's go to the main event uh, War Games 2, also known as WWE's version of War Games, War Games match. But first of all, this match was better than last year, no doubt. Better than last year. Here they made two teams. Each team has four people: The Undisputed Era, Adam Cole, Bay Bay, uh, Roger Strong, and Kyle O'Reilly, Bobby Fish, <laughs> and the other side 
the War Raiders that's gonna name two people. I don't know their names, but War Raiders, the two people, and the United Kingdom champion Pete Dunne and the North American champion Ricochet. So yeah, uh, what to expect? This is a chaotic, chaotic, but minus no blood. We got two table spots, chaotic match them, and nothing more to say. And oh yeah, there there was a stare down between two teams for the other ring. And the other four in the other side of the ring. Uh, the the ring contains two rings. Okay, and yeah, that was uh, kind of awesome. The stare down between two teams, and they even. Uh, I love the a little bit of storytelling of that. Bobby Fish was walking up the cage, with Pete Dunne inside, because if Pete Dunne enters, the numbers game will be matched, and Bobby Fish making three only make three people in the ring put Pete down on the cage locked him up with the cage even though he locked him in the cage the referee somehow some referee come the bow cutter cuts that male part and Pete Dunn when Pete Dunn enters the crowd was blowing up he, Pete Dunn kicking everybody's ass and he he's the one bring two tables in the ring and yeah overall very chaotic minus the blood very extreme minus the swear words uh, a good great war games match in the WWE standard yes even better than last year's Pete Dunne did a better end and Ricochet did a the final moments of the match uh, Ricochet did a 450 splash and wins and Pete Dunne and Ricochet c covered Two of them covered uh, Adam Cole and winning the match. So, yeah, the War Raiders, uh, Pete Dunne and Ricochet won the match. And as I said in the beginning of the video, this event was fucking awesome. I loved it. I fucking loved it. And I'm going to give this show no, no shadow of a doubt. 69.99 because this show was even better than uh, last year as I mentioned before it's my re review and results of NXT TakeOver War Games uh, like dislike share and subscribe and peace